Germans love their cabbage and this braised red cabbage recipe is one of those classics that you find on every menu in Germany at restaurants. It is a classic that always shows up around the holidays with your roast goose or other roasts that you have. And I'm so excited to share this family favorite recipe with you in this video. First, I'm getting cutting my onion and dicing it. Then I have my apple. I will peel that and quarter it and also cut it in smaller pieces. Over here I'm heating my big pot and let's wait for that to heat up. And to that I'm adding goose fat. If you don't have goose fat, you can use any other oil or fat that you have. The lard would be good, tallow would be great, but anything that you have. Now first I add my onions. stirring them every so often and I want them a little bit translucent. So while this is going on over here, I'm cutting the cabbage and first I'm taking off the outer leaves that aren't so good. And where red cabbage has a really beautiful red color, it can also stain your hands. So you can use uh, either a little bit of oil in your hands or you I love to add wine so much because I will just wash my hands with this and use a bigger knife. Now you can see the core and you can just cut out the core at an angle. And now I am cutting the cabbage in very small thin strips. My hands are just a little bit purple, but not too bad. Turn the heat a little bit to get a little bit more cooking going. I'm already adding the apples. I'm 
I'm just gonna put a lid on and let this cook for at least 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We'll, we'll check up on it. And depending on your stove, every so often you wanna go in and stir it, make sure it's not burning at the bottom, but we're gonna let this sit and cook. So here's a little secret. I ended up cooking the cabbage for almost two hours. And let me show you what it looks like after almost two hours. Here it is, and what I love about it is that it is very soft, not mushy, and everything has the same color. So you can't tell the onions apart and the apples. And at this point, what you can do is you can adjust the taste to your liking. So you can always add a little bit more salt, you can add a little bit more sugar to make it a little sweeter, and you can also add a little bit more vinegar. I always like the red wine, the balsamico vinegar, but you can also use just regular vinegar if you like it a little bit more on the sour side. And then just you taste it. Actually, I'm gonna do that. This is already, the smell and the taste and everything is just the way I love it. You serve it with something deeply braised or roasted for a long time, something with a very bold flavor. My Rouladen video would be a good recipe for you to check out at this point. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in my kitchen and I'll see you in this video.